Hello guys. In this tutorial, I'd like to show you how to create a wrapper package for Laravel. Laravel champions the use of community packages, but sometimes you find yourself in a situation when there is no Laravel specific wrappers that you can include. There is, however, an API package for the service you would like to use. We're going to make that API package work for Laravel by wrapping it around in another package. The service we would like to use is Buckert. It is a simple bug tracking application. I had a look around and there is already an API package written in PHP that we could use. I'll be using plain Laravel 5.2 installation on a Vagrant machine. If you don't know how to use Vagrant, just refer to the documentation on laravel.com. You can watch my YouTube video as well. I link below. That video features Lumen, a micro version of Laravel, but the installation is pretty much the same. Okay, so we have to use Composer to require the API package we're gonna need. In our case, this is the PHP Buckherd API from this guy, Billy Neglorium. I think I better copy and paste this into my terminal, but first let's check if we can install it with Composer, and yes, we can. Cool, so copy and paste, and use Composer. That's it, this is done, cool. The problem is that we are unable to use the standalone API package with Laravel, or just to correct myself, we would be able to use it indeed, but it will be a very ugly and inefficient solution. So thankfully, they are service providers in Laravel, and they are the heartbeat of this framework. During the initialization process, these service providers bootstrap the code that we will need later. Why don't we go ahead and create one to bootstrap the Buckhead API package we've just downloaded? There's a providers folder in the app folder where we should place our file. We're going to call this Buckhead service provider. Now, uh, I'm gonna copy and paste everything from App Service Provider because it's easier and all the namespacing has been set. So I just have to rename it. Now we are extending the official Laravel Service Provider class, which will require us to define at least the register method. This method binds things into the service container. There is also a boot method which is executed after all the service provider has been registered. Let's add the singleton called bugherd. This will return a new bugherd instance from the API package. If we have a look at the source, we will see that it is required to pass the API key. Now, I'm going to make a quick variable here but this should be moved to the config. We'll do that later. Let's go and register the service provider in the config. It should go in app.php. If you scroll down, you will see a providers array where we should add ours. Just copy that and rename it. Just do a quick test and make sure it works. We can actually try resolving out of the container. And in order to do that, we should open up routes.php and just use the following command. This app make and buckhead. Just save this in a variable and dump it out. Refresh and it's fatal error. Okay, I think we are pointing to the wrong class here. Let's go back. And just check this, it's looking good. Open this up and yep, this is the wrong class. Okay, so this should be client. And the namespace should be buckherd and client. Just do the test, and it is a different error, but I know what this is. We actually have to use 
API key here. Refresh and it is looking good. We'll go ahead and test the bucket integration quickly using my API key. And we're going to do a test call and get the organization info. It seems like that everything is working as it should. There is a better way to resolve our Bakker class, and that is through Laravel Facades. Facades provide a static interface to classes that are available in the application service container. Create a new folder called Facades in the app directory and create a new Buckhart facade in there. We will call this Buckhart.php. Let's set up our namespace, which is app, facades, and Buckhart. And we're going to use Laravel facades class, which is in eliminate support facades facade. And let's create our class. Uh, it's called Buckhard. And it's going to extend the facade class. Just remove this method. Let's add a protected method called get facade accessor. And this will return Buckhard. Uh, do some commenting here. Get the registered name of the component and it returns a string. Okay, save this and go back to the service provider. I'd like to defer the registration of this provider until we really need it. This will improve the performance since it is not loaded in every request. Create a protected property called defer and set it to true. Let's do some commenting here. Indicate if loading of the provider is deferred. We'll have to define a provides method that should return the service container bindings that the provider registers. This should be backward. And let's leave some comment. Get the service provided by the provider. And it returns a string. Let's register a facade in the app PHP. So this is the Buckhart facade, and the namespace is app facades Buckhart. Awesome. If we go back to our routes file, we can completely replace that line with one word Buckhart. Let's go and test this. Oh, error. I know what this is. Open the facade, and this should be protected static function. And just check if everything's... Oh, and this should be app and facades without Buckhard. Just save it, and let's test it. Perfect. Thanks for watching, and I'll continue this in the second part. You will find the link below in the description.